Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I will be doing a Megan Fox inspired summery makeup look. It's not really specific because it's Megan Fox, but one makeup that she was wearing. I don't know how long ago this picture was taken. However, she has just very nice lashes, very neutral eye with a bold red orangey lip. And I've really been enjoying this for summer, so I thought why not recreate it? So if you guys wanna see how this look is going to be created, then keep on watching. Starting off, I'm just going to use some clips to clip my hair back. Now, with this makeup look, it isn't powdery and it isn't dry in any way, shape, or form. So you want to make sure that you hardcore moisturize. So I'm going to be using my Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. Now, while that is setting, I am going to quickly just pop on some lipstick. This is just the Lip Soul. And make sure that my lips are very moisturized. There's nothing worse than flaky, like flaky lips when you try to put a bold lip on. It's just not cute, not cute. Okay, so I'm gonna let all of that sit and I'll be back in a second. Now, as I said before, this look was extremely kind of glowy and dewy, but not shimmery, if that makes sense. So I'm going to take my favorite foundation, which is the Naked Skin Weightless Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid uh, Makeup. That's too long. And I'm going to use a couple pumps. It's a couple pumps like that. And then I'm going to use one pump. <coughs> and then I'm going to use one pump of my Magic Lumi Primer. And I'm going to distribute this evenly. One of the brushes that I just recently discovered is honestly so freaking amazing. But it is the, uh, it's one of the new e.l.f. brushes. And this is the blending brush. It is so soft and it doesn't shed and it's just, it's almost like duo fibered and I have really been loving this lately. So I'm just going to buff my foundation in. Now with this look, you really don't want a lot of foundation because as I said, it's just very fresh. Um, the, more makeup, ma the more makeup you have on in the summer, the more it's going to melt off if you're in anywhere that it's hot. So just keep it with a thin layer. You can always cover, because as you see, I have giant freaking pimples, like always, the story of my life. I just cover those with a lightweight concealer. This is just really to even out your skin tone. Now, once that is done, I'm going to take my Fit Me Concealer and just now cover up some of the blemishes that are just, just there. And to blend those in, I'm going to use my damp Real Technique sponge. So after that, now I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and again just to settle the makeup in so that it looks as natural as possible. And just bounce that all over my skin. Okay, next for my eyebrows. Now in this specific picture, she had just you could tell that she had some filling in, but it was mostly powder and it was just more she didn't hardcore have like the bold, bold brows. So it was I'm going to be using my Smashbacks Full Explosion Palette and I'm going to be filling my eyebrows and using this warmer shade and this grayer shade. In that, I'm not going to go hardcore on my brows today. Just going to take them on nice roll. You could also just stick with the tinted brow gel like the Maybelline Brow Drama. But I like to fill in with just a little bit of powder. And then I'm also going to go in with some of this brow drama and just feather my hair out. Feather my feathers. So moving on, in the picture, she really didn't look like she was wearing much eyeshadow at all all. However, I'm just going to prime it using my Maybelline Fit Me. I'm going to buff that in using my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And for my eyeshadow, again, as I said, it's just going to be super light. So I'm going to take the NYC palette, the Lovatic, Lovatics by Demi Lovato. And then I'm just going to take this little kind of satiny, it's not really shimmery, it's not really matte. It's just kind of like a satin color and I'm going to apply that all over the lid with my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And in my crease, I'm just going to take the slightest amount of this little warm transition shade right next. 
with my MAC 2 and 7 brush. Very lightly just pop that through the crease to give me a little bit of definition. And then just taking the slightest bit of this darker one and just, again, ever, just barely tapping my brush in, tapping off the excess and just putting that right about here. Now, just at the lash line, at the outer corner, I'm going to put a little bit of black, and so I'm just going to use an angled brush and black from my um, Smashbox palette. And again, very close to the lash line, very, very close. And just taking that in about halfway, about right there, stopping. Just like that, supernatural. You can't see it, but just enough to add to the lashes. For my lashes, I'm going to quickly curl them. And then I'm going to get to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Mascara. And this has the primer side and then the mascara side. So I'm just going to apply the primer side really quick. Now, now that it's given us enough side, I'm going to quickly take the two. So for today, as I said, I'm just going to stick with my lashes, and now I'm going to start concealing. So for my concealer, I'm actually going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the number 15. I need to get another one. I love this. And I'll apply that underneath my eyes. This concealer is, as I said, my skin tone, so it doesn't really highlight. It's just going to give me some extra coverage. And I'm going to blend that in with my beauty blender. This is honestly one of my favorite concealers. The only thing that I hate about it is that, for instance, hold on. Like, the reason that I buy my Naked Skin is because it comes in a shade that actually highlights and it's light. But to me, they're almost identical in my opinion. The only difference is that this doesn't highlight my face and that's what makes me sad. Like, if this came in with a shade as light as my Naked Skin in Fair Neutral, like, I'd be all just buying these, like, but they don't, so. I'm lucky, though, that it at least fits my skin tone because I'm super pale and it just, it's not. And I'm going to quickly set underneath that, not using a lot, but just using the flat side and a little bit of my NYC Loose Powder, just the slightest amount, and then I'm just going to set underneath that because I crease if I don't. Underneath the eye, she doesn't have any eyeshadow, she just has some mascara, so I'm going to actually use my Lash Sensation by Maybelline. In the inner corner, she does have a little bit of a shimmery, kind of palish color, so I am going to probably mix, I'm going to mix a little bit of this light shade and this little pinky shade. So in this picture, in this, she also does look a little bit bronzy. Not super bronzy, not like she's wearing a ton, but just a little bit. So I'm actually going to take my Bible, my, my Bible, I'm going to take my Bible. I'm going to take my Carly Bible palette and use these two uh, shades right here and just kind of run them across where the sun would naturally hit my face. Foreheads. This, this is what you get when you don't tap off the excess, but it's fixable. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and blend the crap of this out. Yeah. So for my cheeks, before I really start to highlight, I'm going to use one of my all-time holy grail makeup products. I just kind of found it again, like I'd lost it in the move, and I find it at the bottom of one of my makeup things, and I'm super excited because it is the MAC Cream Color Base in the color Hush. Oh my gosh, if you're going to invest in one product from MAC, invest in this one because it is phenomenal, especially in the summer. I'm going to take these two and I'm just going to dab my finger in that. And I'm just going to apply that all over my cheek and highlight area. It, it gives you, me almost like the appearance that I'm a little like sunburn, like a little, you know, like a bit of the sun. But it's also such a beautiful highlight. 
and just a little tiny bit with that i'm going to take again my carly bible palette and my real techniques contour brush and i'm just going to take this shade right here and just kind of go a little bit over that now for my lips in the picture that she is in it is not she has an orangey red lip balm but it's not fully matte so i'm actually going to start off with the NARS lipstick in Heat Wave, which looks like this, the very nice orangey red. And because the shade is slightly more, it's not fully matte, but it's more of like a satin, I don't know what you call it. It's not fully glossy, I'm gonna go in with my Shanixo lip palette. And with the same lip brush, just kind of go over a little bit with this orangey reddish shade here. And that is a finished makeup look. I really love this look. I think it is so pretty and fresh for summer. Um, it doesn't feel cakey. It just feels like my normal skin. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup right now and I just love it. Love great. If you enjoyed this video please like I feel like now I'm groveling like please subscribe to my channel it would really mean a ton a loop it really mean a lot to me also let them give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of new trend also comment down below if you have any ideas also I have my Twitter and my Instagram my snapchat and my Facebook links down below please go on that well if you have a specific video use either one of those links down below to send me a picture and I will get on that to make a video Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll watch another Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!